So then we have part three. So it's gonna be about the gym, getting them guns. More or less actually the form of what you should do and what you shouldn't do. So we are gonna go through pull-ups, push-ups and dips and how it should look like and get that correct form going. Get that posture that we've been talking about so much. So let's jump into it. So let's take a look at the pull-ups, how we're doing them wrong and how we can correct them. You can see me, and me here now doing the pull-ups and the further up I go, the more my shoulders start rolling forward. It's because I'm too tired in my back, probably from doing climbing before I started even doing the pull-ups. And I'm just relying on my shoulders to pull me up above the bar. And this creates bad form. That's why you see climbers kind of walking around with their shoulders forward. And this is one of the main, main bad villains for, for creating that posture. This time I'm going to have a lot more focus on keeping my shoulders away from the neck and engaging my entire back when I do a pull-up. This will make me a lot stronger over time and it will also help me with a better create a better posture and towards the end I'm starting to get tired and you can see my shoulders starting rolling forward again and that is something that will continue that movement pattern or that attitude will continue into other exercises as well so we need to really stop it early to never get into that bad habit and Sarah showed a good example of this she's focusing on bringing back her shoulders engaging her back and doing a shin with proper form as you can see and she does it really well but then she tries to do it again, but that is taking too much strength out of her back. So even though she knows the form and the feeling, she can't do it because she's too tired. So she needs to rest to continue doing good form pull-ups. And as you can see, she really struggles to, to finish them off being a bit frustrated. So it's the same thing with push-ups. As you can see here now, my shoulders are leaning forward and I have a lot of back muscles going towards my neck making me only train mostly of my shoulders. I'm losing a lot of training from my back and also starting to create a bad movement pattern that will lead to injuries. So what you need to do is to move your shoulders away from your neck and fully engage your back. Really feel that you're squeezing with your back. I'm not letting my shoulders move forward at all. If I find them moving forward, I rest and then I continue doing the exercise. So I never end up in that bad form. As you can see here, I'm trying to readjust my shoulders away from the neck and fully engaging my back and then I'll start doing the push-ups. And I never let that go. I'm always having a lot of my focus on keeping my shoulders away from the neck, keeping my entire back completely engaged and that will make my core more engaged and I will start creating a better posture on the exercise. If you find yourself that your shoulders are moving towards your neck and your muscles towards your neck, you should stop and rest because then you're too tired to keep the good form going. And the same goes for dips. I'm doing the same thing here now. I'm leaning with my shoulders forward, having my shoulders towards my neck, and I'm, not, and I'm losing a lot of strength. I'm losing a, losing a lot of body tension, a lot of core when I'm doing it this way. And as you can see, it looks very strenuous, and this, just, this will create bad form for climbing and for every ex exercise I'm doing. And this is how the back looks like when we're doing it. You can see my shoulders just moving towards the neck, not really engaging so much in my back as you will see sooner when I'm doing it with correct form. So you could try this test yourself. You just ask a friend to help you correct it when you do the exercise to get your shoulders away from the neck. And as you can see here now, I'm getting up on the, on the, on the dip bar and I'm really focusing on getting my shoulders in a good position before I start moving. As, and as you can see, my shoulders away from the neck. I get more squeeze in my back. I get more engaged back. But also my core is now tightened too as well. And I can really focus on, 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 on pressing hard. And as you can see now in, in my back, my muscles are a lot more contracted. You can see that they're all working together. My shoulder doesn't roll up into my neck. And this will just continuously teach me what a good form feels like. And it will make me a lot more stronger and a lot less chance of injuring myself in the, for the future.